how do you think you would be remembered <laughs> for what oh, in, in scientifically wise? I think uh, I would like to think that my work in the last um, 15 years, 20 years maybe, on uh, on the margins of uh, basins and the margins of continents, what I call the shelf margins, which where we're going from shallow shelf to deep water at these margins. Probably I've contributed um, quite a bit to knowledge of how margins are growing, uh, the rate at which they grow, the relationship between shorelines and margins, um, and uh, how we get sediment from the shelf to the deep water is not that simple because quite often at the shelf edge there's a high wave regime stopping the sediment getting out. So how do we how do we solve that problem? How do we get how do we get the sediment to uh, bypass this wave fence? You know things like this. Spent a lot of time uh, working on. On things like this that tell us more about how the how the margins and the shelf margins are building, I would like to think I've contributed. So, and how did you start studying this topic? How did I start? Okay, here's an interesting one. In um, round about um, round about 1990, 93, 95, I worked quite a lot in the Arctic in Norway. And I discovered this amazing outcrop, which actually was a fossilized shelf margin, where I could see the rocks going like this, shelf, slope, and turbidite fans on the floor. I could see the clinoforms on the mountainside, and people didn't realize what this was. It was the first time that you saw it? Yeah. And people used to call this the Z bed formation. <laughs> and here it was, it was a shelf, a deep water slope on a basin floor. And the sandy parts were the shelf on the basin floor and the slope was all muddy. And uh, so I got interested in this in Spitsbergen. The outcrops were seismic scale, huge outcrops, one kilometer high, ten kilometer long, beautiful outcrops that you need to see that kind of scale of thing. So I started to get interested in shelf margins from that. And uh, I moved from Spitsbergen. Uh, we went to work on the Orinoco margin, so we're working there now. We went to work on the Gulf of California margin, where we're working also on the Colorado Delta. When you say we, who do you oh, mean? Oh, me and my student group. I see. I've always had about 10 students at any time maybe five PhDs and five master students, a mixture of students. And so I get them to focus on the problems of, that, I, that I'm interested in. One of the moments um, that you enjoy the most in your career? Oh, the most enjoyable ones? Oh. Well, actually, I think uh, I enjoy most being in the field. You know, walking and discovering things uh, in the field this is a great pleasure. So I feel uh, I feel very honored to be uh, to be given such a twin hoffel medal. I'm very happy about that. I have to acknowledge and literally uh, accept also on behalf of my students who uh, who inspire the work yeah. you know, so I should not forget that yeah. Yeah.